I, I got faith. He, he was in the lead. He got it. But now we got Sola versus Amarillas getting Ooh. ranges. No bun check needed. Sizzle, 31% on the board. Sola saying, hey, man, I, he is he is fuming off that set. He, he's like, yo, give me right into the next set. I am... I don't put this fire out, bro. I, I'm feeling good right now. Yeah, but this is still Amaryllis, a very incredible player who wields Bayonetta. And the thing about them is they really know how to throw a lot of these burst options and just Ooh. utilize that cool kit. And you know what? We might be going off the top here very soon, but the Accelerado able to get Sola out of that combo, which mm. you really needed that. You are pretty much gone here, and you still might be gone, but all right, still hanging for dear life. Yeah, the one thing I noticed watching Emerilis at Clip oh. It 3 is that the one thing is Bayonetta is really good at doing is just set, is setting up the, the uh, reading the opponent's defensive options. Yes. Right, like setting up using the Witch Time so well, realizing that, okay, Solo's going to send out this move, so I'm going to find that punish right there. I mean, that's a frame one option. The yes. Witch Time, a frame one option, you're demonic. You're mm -hmm. crazy with that. Amarillo absolutely de deletes that first stock, but Solo trying to get back into this with a Kaboom on deck, but oh and it's still going to land the last second. All right, still not so going to take the stock. Hanging around town for a little while longer, wasn't able to get the two frame, but you whiffed the heel slide on shield and ate the down smash for it. So unfortunate. And now again, it's going to be in question, just stopping Hero from playing with that spell menu. And Emerilus already knows how to just shut down heroes with Bayonetta's phenomenal burst options. Like, see, he can't even play the game right now. 45% up on Solo, who's looking to get a turn, and he looks like he just found his turn here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Now Emerilus trying to get back in there. They're trying to find the opening on this hero, of course, still finding this, which was they're trying to play around those spells. Again, this Bayo is doing a great job of just finding the openings with Sola now staying on the back foot, using the long range spells to play out of Bayonetta's immediate range. That's a scary thing for Bayonetta when you have the tools to keep her out. She's got good range, but her range isn't that good, you know? Yeah. It can reach that far. And now this is the thing that gets a little bit scary with Bayonetta, especially when you're in high pressure situations. It's just you get a little linear in your kind of gameplay because you want your kill conditions of like getting the wrap jab in the corner, the forward throw, or even just getting the back airs. And you can see that Amarillo is having a hard time just trying to find his their way into Solo's pressure. And Solo is just like, all right, you with the ABK, yeets! Oh, oh, not the Kazab! Oh, not the Kazab, bro! Sola finding these high-ranking <laughs> spells time and time again. Still has that oomph online, finding that down smash there. Emeril has got to be careful here because these aggressive approaches from these Bayonetta are getting called out oh, no. time and time again. Saw that back guard coming out there trying to find the lead trap here. Not going to find that one either. Now Sola set up with the hero on ledge again. Mm -hmm. Forward throw comes out too. They're just looking so comfortable. Sola has Emeril uh -oh. in a chokehold of anything. Amos. Maybe an unfortunate overextension there, but Solo, the confidence, Momo, the confidence. Yo, Solo's been going off with these up tilts. I saw it against Zap, and we're seeing it again now against Amaryllis. These up tilts, they've been kind of crispy. He's been getting some good reads, catching those jumps there. Of course, again, Bayonetta is one, definitely one of those characters that gets way too aggressive sometimes with, with those like those greedy jumps. We saw early on in the game yeah. that Amaryllis were they were feeling themselves, but then like as as it turned out, still getting a little too. Uh, Comfortable jumping in there, and of course we have Solo with the punish, but we're going immediately into game two, bringing us back to PS2. Oh, PS2. Ooh. Tell me about PS2, man. I mean, PS2 is a pretty damn big stage, and Bayonetta, like, if you want to keep things in a close quarter situation, you don't want Hero kind of reading the spell menu, you kind of want to switch it up to a, a pretty short stage. All right, Solo. All right, Solo. Solo. All right, Solo. <laughs> See, we both have to say it at the same time. <laughs> Uh, I mean, like, Bayonetta is light, so that would have taken the stock. But, like, come on, bro. That would have been OD. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so, find the Accelerado there. Chris just came early this year. Lights on right now. Trying to find the opening against the Bayonetta. Find that heel slide in again. Emerald is trying to find the stock here. Ooh. And the slow conversion off the side of the stage oh again. God. Yeah, he just drops down and straight up zaps. And now we're back to just buffing ourselves out. Emerald, are you watching? You, you gotta threaten that range. You gotta threaten. See, you threatened Sola, and Sola threw out the Flame Slash, and look how much oh. reward you're gonna get. Mm -mm. But, oh. Unfortunate there. Amaro's still not gonna find that pickup. They're now trying to find more damage on this hero. Sola at 139. Nice jump out there to bait out that, uh. Oh my Oh, God. I got that aggressive approach there from Amarillis. From the spells here at ledge again. Hero just ledge trapping by reading his menu, man. Less trapping by reading. That's the, that's, that's, that's the game of the game. But Emerald's still going to come in there, take a stock there with a rapid jab. Reading? I'm scared of reading. I don't want to I'm reading and read. smash moves. <laughs> I'm trying to mash some buttons out here. I paid $60 to press some buttons. 
Now Emerald's trying to get in and press some buns of his own uh, of their own. Trying to get around that shield. Solo sitting up there with the oomph. For the psych up, I'm sorry. Not finding trying not even gonna find that sizzle there either. Again, Emerald's doing such a good job now. They're uh, holding down near the platform, catching Sola. Because eventually, even when you're down as hero, you got to approach at some point, right? And Spayo doing a really good job of catching those aggressive approaches from this hero. Yeah, and oh my god, the wake up Caprice. Sola just pulling out all the stops here. But Emerald is just not caring, able to get so many reversals still. Holding on to this three stock lead and Sola whipping the up tilt still struggling to find this stock and Amarillo is still pressuring so strong with a lot of these ABKs. Oh, yeah, there you go. Vaseline, very good point, but now Sola getting hit back out of there with the forward air. 137, this hero's got a lot of rage. You need to get yes. that stealth back menu back on deck. That they still finding those guns there. Gary gets up to Amaryllis. Now trying to get back into this. This hero finding that bouncer again because you know th those he took those guns personal last stock. Yeah, I, I definitely take those personal as well. And it has the added bonus of getting rid of the option on the menu, but oh my god. Bats within, coming and clutch. That air dodge was almost red. But Amarillo is still taking up the turn, trying to get the damage on as Solo looks to recompose themselves. But still, this pressure has been so immaculate. You can slowly see Amarillo is getting a lot more comfortable with their gameplay here. Here we go now, finding that forward throw out of there, trying to find a forward air here too. Solo finding the... Uh, oh, Emerald's trying to find a down throw into f -Sunch. I'm liking the idea of trying to pull out a defensive option. Hey, Hatchet Man coming out again, all right, Solo's getting a little too ridiculous. <laughs> trying hey. to find an opening on this hero. Emerald's they're still keeping up the pressure here. Solo trying, finally finding an opening, but how much can you do with this set, this set opening? Yeah, I mean, when your back's against the wall, you might as well just make it all on the RNG. You live and die by the RNG with this character. The Kaboom, though, not going to be able to close out the stock. But now this time wait around, a minute, wait a minute, wait a we've minute. been seeing Solo bait out a lot of these ABKs just to get the kill, and he finally finds that stock there. But with 136, hey. you're only a back air away from going down in the game. Emerilus, like, putting, like, making these lead traps and Hedgehog looking so, like, effortlessly. Like, they're doing such a great job of catching Solo getting a little too lazy off the ledge. Because, like, you know, this hero does a really good job of edge, of edge guarding and ledge trapping, but coming off the ledge is getting, like, uh, you know, sitting stuck in those same habits, right? Stuck in, in, in the flow chart of coming back on if they're going an aerial or a forward air or coming on with an air or coming on with a spell. And everyone's like, okay, bro, I know you're going to jump. Just back here. It's as simple as that. You're, you're gonna, if you're gonna spoon feed me, I might as well eat, bro. It really is just like that. It really just is like that. And I did not see the stage they went to, but I'm assume just running back to PS2. Oh, town, town and city. city. Yeah, not, dude, that was uh. Town and city. This is certainly a very interesting stage because we have those stage of. The stage transformations in question coming out, not to mention those small town city blast zones. So I work at Solo is most likely likely gunning to kind of kill with those small blast zones, but it can equally be just as good as for Bayonetta, just looking for just so many backers in those blast zones. The thing about like Solo's playing this like awfully on paper, right? Like using the big hitbox, oh. having the spells, playing around Bayonetta so well. But Amaryllis saying like, hey man, I, I know what you're gonna I know what you want to do. I know you have that 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 pre-cut Bayo counterplay in mind, but I have the witch time. And I know if I can play around that, find my die aggression when I need to, I just get back into this game and Sola is looking <gasps> but funnel of anything, but still gonna find that F smash. Did one mistake and your stock has gone to this hero. I'm in shock. I'm utter I'm in utter shock with the buff and the F smash. Solo was able to take that stock immediately from Amaryllis, but you can't be getting, you can't be swinging for the fences already. You have to get these reversals. You gotta set up. You can't be going for these options to kind of just catch your opponent coming towards you. You gotta get those buffs off. Amaryllis is just going to town uh -oh. on you, and he's taking to you town, to see all the sights. And, oh my God, taking you to town, taking you to the top of town, taking that stock. Very nice ladder combo oh. there. Now Solo trying to find an insane read. At this point, Solo trying to find that, like he did the last time with the F Smash, just try, hoping for a miracle, right? Because Hero can make miracles, but miracles happen. The way Emeralds is playing this, say, like playing perfectly grounded, waiting for Solo to throw out the aggressive options. At this point, this Bayonetta is just literally just waiting for Solo to make an opening for him. More before them. Hey, you said it. Emeralds is just taken home on the platform, just moving all around, just trying to just find that opening. and. They find it with the ABK, not able to take it all the way to the bank. But, oh, that could have been dastardly. That could have been real dangerous. E but the Kaboom! Uh-oh, uh -oh, wait a minute. Uh -oh. So this happened last game. Sola now sitting here on stage. 
30 mana trying to get something back here on this menu. Emerald's doing a good job of just playing here patiently again. Coming back on here with the ABK, finding that Nair there again. Solo trying to find anything on this menu, trying to get this Bayo. Yo, get away from me. Give me something. Let me play this last hit right. Let me yeah. play it right. You can't really get overzealous in this situation because Emerald is going to abuse it so much. And they were gunning on Sola, just swinging with the Witch Time in question. But Sola has been playing so well, just trying to get this chip damage in from the bounces on shield from the ABK, trying to just abuse the fact that they really want to close this out against Hero because this is a character who you really don't want to go up against. In a goofy oh, way. I'm sorry, I the can smell it. Coming. I can the smell it. Coming. In a goofy <laughs> way. In a goofy way. And golly, Amaryllis falling to that Kafriz there. And He's Lily Goku. <laughs> gone just like they were here. Sola just immediately, just back to back, e even having that holding down so strongly in, in those last hits. Like, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get into the set. Like, finally, game three, realizing, like, okay, let me, let me chill out. Let me, let me slow down. I'm hero, right? I have the, like, even that first talk with the F-Snatch, I have the tools. Even with how well Emerald is playing, I have the, like, the second you make those mistakes, I can have those huge punishes, right? And the thing is that Bayonetta, while they do have really good pressure on shield, the second you make you come on in the wrong angle, the one mistake we saw there at the end coming down there with the ABK, the yes. second you slide there in the in the wrong angle, your stock is just gone. That could frizz, and just, there you go. Yeah, and having the Accelerado in shield for those situations was so good. Because Solo was able to kind of just react and just chase off of them. And, like, the gears just slowly started turning. Like you said, he just, like, slowed the pace of the game down. He's like, all right, keep it cool. Don't mash. Don't top tech. Don't go for any crazy spells. And he kept one of Hero's best tricks in the back pocket. Mm -hmm. the good old Caprice. DBZ Unranked style. player just made top eight at Xeno 300. That's the goat. That's just, Solo's like goat, bro. Just, just casually. <laughs> just casually. Just him. Nah, Solo's him, bro. <laughs> so, so speaking of him. top eight, that'll end our time here at Xeno 300. Snivy, it's been a minute, but thank oh you for God, uh, holding down with me, man. Of course, you can catch me at Momo on the mic. You can catch him at Syndicate Snivy. I think we got a, a couple of, uh, of things to talk about here. Of course. Uh, we may. Everything, we're, we're in New York, right? We, we thank you to H3 for having us be here at 300. Let's talk about high res, man. Talk about this weekend. It just, just became 